this video I'm going to demonstrate how one can navigate through DG5 pages utilizing Page Include. So first let's go ahead and right click on our stage and choose Insert Components and Insert a Page Include. And let's go ahead and just give our page include a solid stroke of one. And I'll change the color to this. And next, let's go ahead and bring in a text component. And I'm going to say this is going to be flex exercises. And let's give this a background color of this. Okay. You can rename this in your outline if you want to be really organized. Okay, next let's go ahead and choose flex exercises and let's add an action. So the action is going to be that on the click um, this page include is going to assume a path of our flex exercises.dg5. So actions, add set state on a click, record, choose page include, go to the properties, and drag over the path of the flex exercises DG5. Choose enter, and the check mark to say I'm done. Next, let's just go ahead and duplicate this, because if we want to add a different button to navigate to a different uh, DG5 page, we will just go into the properties and say this is going to be point control and I want this to take me to my point control dg5 page rename in our outline as well and since we duplicated flex exercises that it assumed the same action so I just need to change the path of the dg5 I can either erase and drag it over I can choose file or I can just select the text and just type in point underscore control because that's the name of my DG5 page and click enter. So if I go to preview, let's also multi select point control and flex exercises. None of the properties change the cursor from auto to hand. And if we click on flex exercises, it should take us to flex exercises DG5. And if I click on point control, it's going to bring up the point control DG5. You can double click on flex exercises to open the DG5 page to ensure that this is correct. And double click on point control DG5 to make sure that this is also correct. So you'll see that in this point control um, DG5 that I have, it just has this one widget. So it worked perfectly. Hope this video helps.